Can you believe that this is my first vacation since the pandemic? Well, I guess we did go to Boracay a while back, but since I was stressing over my proposal then, I would consider this as my first real vacation. What better way to spend it than my first trip ever to Japan and even watching Taylor Swift at that? Let's start with our vacation on February 5th, a full three days before we get to watch the concert. We flew in via Cebu Pacific 5J5056, leaving Manila at 1.45pm. We arrived in Narita about an hour ahead of schedule after 6pm. Because of this rare snowy night in Tokyo, it was past 10 p.m. when we finally reached our hotel in Shin Okubo, a neighborhood within Shinjuku. The snowy journey was eventful, which I'll share in a separate video. Waking up from a cold, cold night, the first order of business was to get our tummies full. Our first stop was this beef place called Red Rock in Harajuku where I had the steak bowl and Janessa had the house special roast beef dawn. With our bellies filled up, next on our list was to actually explore the quirky fashion district of Harajuku. It didn't take long for us to get hungry so our next stop was coffee and dessert at Now Coffee. We're pretty chill with our itinerary when we're traveling, so having refueled up, we wandered off on foot to explore how quirky Harajuku turned into trendy Omotesando. We like the quaint back streets of Omotesando with its shops and cafes, so much so that yes, it's time for coffee once more. This had to be one of our favorite stops on the trip. Energized and caffeinated, we thought that we could further explore on foot and see how Omote Sando turns into nearby Shibuya. <laughs> this was admittedly a slightly longer walk, but we marveled at how one district bleeds into another, and between these districts, you get to see a more homey side to Tokyo. We made it into Shibuya just as the sun had gone down. We walked into and out of the famous scramble just like any other tourist would. We thought that it would actually be bigger. After all that, we had our sights set for dinner and the number one thing on my Japan bucket list, a salaryman izakaya. We're now at the Isakaya Ali at Shibuya. Underneath the train tracks in Shibuya is the alleyway of non Yokocho with about 20 to 30 Isakaya stalls, each seating no more than 8 persons at a time or even fewer. Admittedly, the intimacy can get intimidating, but after peeking through a handful and reading through their menus and offers, we jumped in and picked this one ran by this sweet old little lady. I didn't hold myself back and ordered most of what she had to offer, from karaage to potato okonomiyaki, from sake to sochu, from fresh fish to yakisoba, I was having them all. After about 2 hours and several rounds later, we called it a night and had our first full day in the books. First order of business today, made cafe. 